Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to give some tips on using the newest survivor, Toy Merchant, aka Annie Lester. I would like to know that I'm still pretty much an amateur at playing her, and I don't own her yet. But I do plan to buy her real soon, and I've tried using her in a few matches using my character trial card. This isn't a full on character guide on Toy Merchant, and I would suggest to watch a video guide made by a pro player if you would like to play as Annie competitively. However, if you would like some tips based on an outsider's perspective, watch this video ahead. Annie carries two catapults with her that can be used by the player themselves and also their teammates. Annie additionally has a glider that can help her drift through the air. The player can use this glider when Annie is in the air which means that the glider button can be activated when she's falling from a height or after Annie uses one of her catapults to jump. It should be noted that hunters can destroy these catapults. Therefore, place your catapults at an area where it'll be difficult to be seen by the hunter. Annie has a limited amount of catapults. It would be a waste if the hunter immediately destroys these catapults before Annie is able to use them. Therefore, it is very much advised to put them at areas where the hunter can't see them at first sight, such as grassy areas and areas obscured by objects. Place catapults at areas where teammates can use it to get an advantage in kiting. I've met some toy merchants who like to put their catapults at open areas. While any players can put a distance between themselves and the hunter using their gliders, this is not the case for other teammates. Putting catapults at places where teammates will land at an open area will usually not give them an advantage in kiting as many hunters have abilities that can break that distance such as Michiko's dash, Uchino's jump, and Ant's cat dash. Some hunters also have far-ranged abilities that can knock survivors from a distance, such as Jack's foggy blade and Antonio's notes. Therefore, it is advised to put catapults at areas where your teammates can land at a good hiding location. For example, this walled area in the arms factory is a very good location for your teammates to kite and can give them a head start in containing the hunter. Be aware of certain narrow openings where the survivor can't jump using the catapult. I'm not so sure how many locations there are similar to this one, but there's this one spot at the building in the Secret Heart Hospital where it looks like the survivor can leap across using the catapult. But alas, there seems to be an invisible barrier that blocks survivors from jumping using the catapult. It is advised to check through these types of areas to avoid a failed catapult and getting caught by the hunter. This includes windows. She also carries a toy box where she can store three items from chess. Now I know some of you might be a bit frustrated with this ability, where it could be a potential buff for Lucky Guy. But a huge difference between Annie and him is that Lucky is meant to search items for himself, while Annie can't use any items at all. Annie has an increased searching speed of 100%, which gives her less time to search for chess items. She can't choose set items, unlike Lucky Guy. So the items will mostly be random. Don't spend too much time on searching for items. While they can be useful for later, do not go out of your way to search for chests. Instead, only search for items if you stumble upon chests. Make sure that decoding is your top priority. Annie's toy box ability has a bigger advantage with certain survivors than others. Unfortunately, this ability isn't very versatile for most survivors as many of them have their unique items and can swap for others. 
Therefore, if you are matched with survivors that can't carry other items, don't even bother to search for items as neither Annie nor her teammates can use those items. However, this ability can be very useful for certain survivors. For example, all rescuers, excluding Wiley, will eventually use up their item. As Annie has a faster searching speed than them, she can help search for useful items and throw said items at her teammates. That's all folks. I'm sorry that there are not a lot of tips since I'm still learning to play as Annie. I hope that these tips can help you improve with the toy machine. Thank you for watching! Oh